Hey guys, so I've had a few people ask me how to triple mine Conflux, Radiant, and Zill since Seb Heslow released his great video on triple mining and brought a lot more attention to it. So I figured I would share a quick guide on how to triple mine Conflux, Radiant, and Zill as it's a bit different than mining Ergo, Radiant, and Zill. So in this guide, I'll go over what miner I use, how to configure the miner, what pools I use, and this guide is in Hive OS, but it's pretty easy to convert it into Windows using a bat file. A note about triple mining, I find to get the hang of it, it's easier to use a single GPU. For this video, I'll be using a 3060 Ti Tough, as that was what I was what I had plugged into my test bench. And a majority of my farm is 3070s and 3060 Ti's, so I can apply these settings easily to my entire farm. So first, let's go over the pools I'm mining with. Now, before I made a video mining uh, about how mining with K1 pool is the way to get the highest Zill rewards as long as you're mining one other coin along with Zill on their pools. In this case, I'll be mining Radiant on the K1 pool. And you can check my affiliate link out. If you sign up using that link, I will get 0.01% of a percent of your profit. And any proceeds that come from this will help me fund future content in the channel and I thank you for using it. Even if you don't use my K1 pool link, it is still the best way to get the highest Zill yield and I would recommend mining on K1 pool for at least Zill and Radiant. For Conflux, I'll be using Hero Miners but I plan on doing some pool testing to figure out which uh, pool is the best one. So the miner I am using is G Miner as I find it's the best and most stable miner as of the time of this filming. So here are my settings on Hive. Keep in mind, you need to add your own addresses in, uh, but these are good starting settings. Uh, these are the ones that I use that I did minor adjustments on in, your in my, my own farm. Now keep in mind that my GPUs are not yours and your mileage may vary. But let me show you how you can tune these GPUs to either get more Radiant Hash, more Conflux Hash, or drop the power. So the first command that's important is a DI or dual intensity command. You may know this command if you have triple mined before. DI works different with these algos. The lower the DI, the higher the conflux hash and the lower the radiant hash and the power also goes up. So here you can see the difference from when I moved the DI from 10 to eight and then eight to five. Uh, my baseline settings for my farm, I started at 10 and I went down to nine for some of them but I didn't go any lower than that. Using a higher core clock, will help both these settings as well as the pa as well as increase the power. As you can see when I move the core clock up from 1255 to 1450, the power went up about 20 watts. Finally with Zill, you can generally keep the same settings, but just remember to change your memory settings depending on the GPUs you're using. Once you figure out your general settings that you are happy with, mine are on screen here, you just need to import them to your rigs and tweak them as needed. Triple mining is a really, really good way to squeeze every last drop of profitability out of your cards, especially if you don't have issues paying out of pocket and you can afford the increased power usage and if you don't have heat issues where you live. Otherwise, if you are having problems with your heat, it's probably better to dual mine Zill with a core algo uh, until the we get to the winter months. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, and all the help you give in my channel. Please like and subscribe. If you would like to see any other triple mining content, please, please let me know. Uh, and again, I wanted to keep this guide short and sweet. So thank you for watching, Crew Man.